looks like it's working. Okay, quick one. Uh, everybody's in the lockdown, etc., etc., and been doing a, a lot of the classes online. All right, it's not the same as doing it for real, is it? But it keeps you in contact with your students, and it gives them something to do. I know a lot of my students are really missing being down here as I'm missing them. But after doing these filming online things on, during the day, I've also taken a little bit of doing a little bit of messing about, all right? Maybe beyond the bag, a bit of shadow work, a stick, a bit of catter. You know, just 20% of what I used to be in action there. But I've been getting a really positive response off Facebook uh, for these little two minute posts I've been doing. So I started sat, uh, simulating things and looking at what everyone else is doing, and especially on the online courses. And the majority, not all, are doing everything technique based. All right, it's all technique based uh, or drill based, which I understand, you know, I understand. But I was lucky, I was very, very lucky when I was younger in that I connected with a chap called Tom Gunning. He was an ex-amateur boxing coach and uh, ex-army PTI, ex-competitor. He'd had 165 fights, only lost 11. And uh, two of the people he beat was Tony Simpson and Maurice Hope in the amateur days. And I trained with him every morning for two years. He was surprised the fact that I kept turning up because most people did a couple of days, he never saw him again. Later, uh, well, by the way, Tom would never, ever, one thing, call himself a master, you know, although he was a master at boxing. Obviously, after 165 fights and the level of competitors he beat and being a PTI in the army for years, uh, he understood, he understood coaching, all right? He was a master, but he never called himself a master. Later, I got a chance to train with Lance Lewis. Lance moved to Huddersfield. He was working over here for 15 years. We train every day, more or less. Well, at least three times a week. And I got loads of things off him. But he ain't got any techniques. He didn't get any techniques. He does this and you do that. Uh, I got training methods because in the training method lies the technique and this is what's missing it's of great concern to me because the essence of martial arts is going to be lost because people ain't training they want to learn a few drills okay which if they tried to apply be a bit like trying to get a square peg in a round hole it wouldn't work you've got to be able to adapt in that moment if you're going to make something work. So, this is the thing. I do feel that a lot of people could do it working on their product as much as what they're working on, let's say, their marketing. And we might be getting somewhere because thinking about it, if I was to go and fight in the ring against Cash Gill, step on the mat with Alfie Lewis, lead the team out to clash the titans or maybe even go up onto a desolate hillside and fight a Wing Chun warrior so to speak and it wasn't in here then I'm afraid I'd be in for a very very big surprise <laughs>